adding apple cider vinegar to our pastry dough and you can also use regular vinegar. For adding the vinegar to the dough is because the vinegar makes the pastry dough flaky and crispy. Water to our pastry dough. She after she open it when she tells that it's not ready, but she still close it back and wait a little bit longer. Is that okay? Yeah, about the size. So you're gonna take your dough for your cheap work. You're gonna flour the surface of your working area, and you're going to make them into small tennis balls. After your cheap work dough has rested for about half an hour or so, you're going to start cutting it off into pieces that are the size of a small tennis ball or a large golf ball. You're going to roll them into the ball shape and get them ready to fill with your meat mixture. You want to cover your little dough balls and let them rest after you've rolled them out. And also not dry. If you don't, you know, cover it, the dough will dry and it will hard to, you know. After you've made your dough balls, you're going to cover them with saran wrap or tea towel so that they don't dry out. And they're easy to roll out when you're ready to make your bar. As much as, you know, dough rested, you know, as easy as you roll it. Now the longer you let your dough rest, the easier it is to roll out. And these are the sizes of like a little mini pizza. These are bigger than a tortilla mm -hmm. and bigger than a pita bread. And the dough is becoming pretty thin. I'm sure you use some cheese if you're interested. I'm Jake asking. For our cheap burak, we have our meat, our finely grated onion, salt, and we have parsley. We're also going to add pepper. The filling is made with raw meat. The meat is not pre-cooked in this instance. It would be better with <laughs> Everything's better. Adding a cup of water to the meat mixture. The reason for adding some water to the meat mixture is because it will make the filling softer and then you're going to mix it well by hand. So now we're filling our Che Borak. Uh, we're taking a very generous tablespoon full of our ground meat mixture with our onions, and we are spreading it out on the surface of our Borak, fold it in half. Seal your edges, and then you can also cut a nice clean line with a pizza cutter around your edges. Our oil, this is just vegetable oil or corn oil for, to fry our che borak. And we're using a pretty nice sized pot. And how many cups of oil? Three. About three cups of oil. Oil is hot enough and you notice that you need to cover about one inch deep of oil in your frying pan. Add your che borak to your hot oil and you're going to fry these up. Sort of like an empanada, if you will, a Turkish empanada. While you fry your chebora, notice that you want to kind of um, move them around so they have get nice and bubbly and crisp. And sometimes you want to push the hot oil on top of the surface of the dough. That will create bubbles. Mm -hmm. Notice how Asuman is um, kind of covering the chebork with hot oil as she cooks it, that will help create a golden finish, but also bubbles. Yeah. You want to hear the sizzle, and that's how you know your oil is hot enough. You want to get a nice golden brown finish, and notice you also have these bubbles that add texture and surface interest to your chaburro for it.